are not seeking to create any type of bipartisan theatrics here. Uh, anything that does happen as it relates to the minimum wage happens with myself, Senator Sweeney, and the governor at a table agreeing to things. And uh, that is what my focus is on, because at the end of the day, I am not looking for any bipartisan infighting. I am looking to put more money in the pockets of people who currently earn $290 a week. I think that there is a great deal of data uh, out here. Uh, Crane's business report has been writing on this subject for the past several months because you know similar discussions are taking place in the state of New York. Uh, also, the University of California, University of Massachusetts, and uh, one of our other major universities has been conducting studies on the implication of raising the minimum wage and whether or not it has a, quote, adverse effect on business. It does not. We've got data and cold hard facts. I think that uh, what we have to address in New Jersey is how do we best establish a policy for elevating the minimum wage without at the same time creating any adverse effect on business. But the, the, the literature is loaded with data that it does not create an adverse effect. It also serves as an economic stimulus because anyone that earns $15,000 a year as a low paid uh, minimum wage worker, they immediately spend that money. And they spend it paying rent, they spend it on buses and trains, they spend it in supermarkets and in local businesses. So uh, there is a stimulus effect when we put more money in the pockets of low income workers.